Good day, everyone. Welcome to this Wednesday edition of the Vice Squad. My name is Ryan. I'm your Wednesday host. Today, we are going to tie a very simple little water boatman fly. Very, very easy. And I think it looks pretty good, too. Before we get into it, uh, please check out fishinganoutdoors.ca for canadianresidents.net for our American friends and international friends where you can see our sponsors who which which is who are the Anadromas Fly Company and Fly Life Co. You can find all their gear, tools, material, everything that they sell. You can find it on the website along with all sorts of other great stuff. Uh, it doesn't cost you any more to shop through the store but it helps us keep the lights on. Anyway back to the fly. Like I said we're going to tie this little water boatman and uh, we're going to start with a size 12, yes, 12 uh, R7 nymph hook, which is uh, the hooks that Fly Life sells. Nice solid barbless hook. I've got a 1 8 metallic tungsten bead on there, and I've put six or seven wraps of O2O 0 lead. Uh, definitely check your regulations. Make sure you're allowed to use lead on your flies wherever you're fishing. Uh, if not, lead free, or you can just skip the lead all together up to you but what we'll do is we're going to start with some 70 denier black utc which will start behind the lead here and we were going to reach in and snip a tag out and i'm going to wind that thread down and back up a bit for the back we'll tie that in first i'm going to use some Scud back. This is one eighth scud back in olive. And what I've done at my tie-in point, or for the tie-in point, I'm going to cut a V in it. And that's just so it makes it a little easier to tie in here, and it's not going to bulk it up. So we'll just carefully grab that with our thread. And you want to make sure that stays on the back. And I'm going to tie that just down into the bend just a little bit our way back up and make sure it's nice and secure. Next, I'm gonna grab our body material, which is a peacock curl, and I've got five or six strands here. And uh, I've cut the last inch of the, uh, of the uh, hurl tip off, just because it's very weak and brittle anyway. We won't need it. So I'm gonna tie that in all the way down to where we finished with our thread for the scud back. Next, what I'm going to do is just work my thread forward, and I'm just going to build up a little bit of a taper leading into the lead wraps. And then I'm just going to cover over the lead with the thread. If it's a little exposed, it's not going to make a big deal, but nice that it's all covered up. And then what I'm going to do is when I'm ready, to start wrapping my body, I'm going to leave my thread a little less than a bead width behind the bead there so that we can tie our legs in. Next, we'll grab our peacock and we'll just start wrapping it. You could, uh, you could twist it if you wanted to. That gives it kind of a neat look as well. For these, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to wrap it all forward. Just be careful around the hook point because it will break this stuff off pretty easy. So we'll just wrap that forward. Until we get to our thread. And then when we get to our thread, I like to hold the hurl on the bottom side of the hook and capture it there like that. Just because we're gonna tie some legs on the top and if the hurl's on the top, it's sort of in the way. And for the legs, I've got some. These are centipede legs. These are from Montana Fly Company, but they're just a, a barred leg. Uh, you could use anything, black or olive, or if you wanted to have some, like a hot spot leg, if you will, you could use some yellow or orange uh, just to maybe get some attention. For this one, we'll use the olive, which is olive and black barred. What I'm gonna do is just Grab that on top of the hook 
and then I'm just sort of gonna not really figure eight it, but I'm just gonna tie it in. I guess it's sort of a figure eight. Tie it in on both sides, in front and behind that that uh, set of legs, making sure that it's right in the middle of the back. And then once I think I've got it tied in secure enough. I'll work my thread forward and leave it behind the bead. Next I'll grab a peacock curl again and I'm going to do one wrap behind and then I'm going to see if I can squeeze a couple wraps in the front of it, which I can. And we'll tie that off. Like so. We'll reach in there nice and tight with our scissors. I recently got these uh, fine points from Anna Dramas in the mail, and boy, I tell you, I'm really happy with them. They, they come to a very, very fine point. You can really get in there and nice and tight and close and snip things out. Next, we'll grab the scud back and we're gonna lay it right over the top. And if you hold it with your right hand, or left hand, I guess, depending on what hand you are, and just wrap your thread around, just gently pull it, and then I'll keep that nice and tight against that peacock. And then you could go in and put some real nice binding wraps in there. Like so, and lock it in. Next, we'll reach in there with our scissors. Trim that off. If it's not perfect, it's not that big a deal because we're going to coat uh, this with some UV glue. But we will clean it up just a little bit. Like so, and we'll grab our whip finish tool. And we'll whip finish that off. Like so. And we'll snip our thread out. Next, I'm just gonna trim my legs, which I'll make about the length of the body, like so. Next, what we're gonna grab is um, UV glue for like a shell back. This is Solaris Thin. I'm just gonna put a bit of a coating across the back. Like so, and we'll cure that with our light. You can see I was a little thin across the back here and down the side. So we'll just go back in and just carefully Fill that in. So that's a very, very simple water boatman, pro, uh, water boatman fly. I had thought about ribbing it. I know that you generally would, but I thought maybe if a guy ribbed it with a piece of flash and then counter ribbed it with some uh, really fine tip, it might uh, help with the uh, durability, but I think it's gonna fish just fine the way it is. That scud back's got a bit of twinkle in it once you get the UV glue on it. So there we are. All right, folks. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video and you want to see more fly tying videos, which we got uh, two other hosts as well, so we're three videos a week right now, 
uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it and you won't miss any of the upcoming content. As I mentioned off the top, you can visit fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian residents and .net for American residents and international. And you can visit our sponsors who are the Anadromous Fly Company and Fly Life Co. And you can find all their gear on the website along with all sorts of other goodies. Until next week, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.